Good morning Sri Lanka. Welcome back to another beautiful edition of a GMSL where we're going to take you into a different level, a different zone and a different location of martial arts. Anupama, good morning to you. Good morning, Vanu. How are you? I'm doing great. It's How are very you? Exci I'm very excited to do the show with you again. Mutual feeling, yeah? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool. Um, so, yeah, last week we were talking about an uh, entirely different topic. And just like Vanu was saying, we're not exactly talking about martial arts uh, as per se, but we are moving on from the uh, typically theoretical topics that we were talking about all throughout these weeks. And we're moving into a very practical and happening topic today, which is none other than self-defense. Now, Banu, what do you think about self-defense? What do you know about it? Um, <laughs> I have absolutely zero idea of it okay. because I haven't studied, but my brother has okay. when he was a kid. So, uh, I would like to learn, you know, today's episode is going to be one hell of a episode where we're going to learn more about a subject that's not only going to help you um, win in life, but protect yourself in life. And, exactly. uh, yeah, and your loved ones as well, yeah? Exactly. Spot on, Banu, because um, most of the people, when you talk about self-defense, uh, they, they only um, think that it's something to do with protecting yourself. But self-defense is also... Today, we are going to demonstrate something very important to you, which shows that defense is also um, something that you should be uh, good at when it comes to protecting your loved ones and the people who are around you as well. In and most situation. importantly, yourself. Yes, yeah, exactly. loved ones. Most importantly, yourself. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So we have this special uh, technique uh, derived from Israel. Mm -hmm. It's called Krav Maga. Oh yes. I hope I pronounce it right. I, I feel a little, <laughs> you know. I, I feel like the man, and I say like <laughs> Krav Maga. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, without much ado, let's invite uh, the two guests who uh, we've cordially invited yes. on today's show. That we could, um, you know, I, I'd call them opinion formers on this matter, on yes. this subject, because they know what they're talking about on oh this yeah. matter. So please welcome um, Shehara Gunasekara, who is an assistant instructor, and Christopher Lebroy, who is an instructor in this field as well. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Good Morning Sri Lanka. <laughs> Good morning, guys. How Good are you morning. doing? Good. Yeah. Great. So, um, Shehara and uh, Christopher, how are yes. you doing this morning? Good. Perfect. Okay, and this is your first experience in GMSL. So tell us how you feel. <laughs> Actually, yeah, something like that. Are you feeling very nervous? <laughs> not exactly. Okay. Was, but not anymore. Okay, but um, something very interesting about self-defense that I read um, when I was going going through the rundown with Banu is that um, most of the people think that just knowing the technique in their heads will actually help them um, when it comes to self-defense, when it comes to defending yourself. Um, but that's not exactly what self-defense is, is it? Knowing the technique in their heads doesn't really help unless you know how to put it into use. Exactly. Okay, so why don't you um, elaborate on that? Well, so you may know a technique in your head, but if you don't practice it, mm -hmm. it's of no use. So you have to keep on practicing the technique for you to be fluent in it. Okay. So, and it's the techniques are all simple techniques. Okay. It's nothing, you know, sophisticated. It's how simple if someone attacks you, how you defend and get away from the situation. And Krav Maga is all about that uh, protecting exactly. yourself and how to defend it. Um, yeah. How, uh, can, can you tell us a brief uh, explanation and introduction as to what Krav Maga is? Yes, Krav Maga is an Israeli self-defense system mm -hmm. which was trained only to the military. It was not given to the civilians before. Okay. But what they realized was, you know, civilians also have been attacked or been robbed and all that. So they decided, okay, in 2000, in the year 2000, to let the civilians also learn this system where they can protect themselves. But what was taught to the civilians was totally a different method. It's crow itself, but the simple in techniques level. in a different level. level. Okay, okay. So where you just defend yourself and move away from the situation. So, so this started very recently, in 2000, uh, you said? 2000, so it's, it's uh, no, it's start, it was founded in 1943, okay, okay. but the world, the civilians, they opened it out to them in uh, 2000. 2000. So it's just been 13 years. 13 years, right. and Sri Lanka, we got it three years back from Mr. Satish Thirmunige. Who is uh, going to be that very soon. Yes. <laughs> it originated uh, some time back, and now it's open for civilians as well to as just well. learn the art. Yes. Yeah? Um, I know this is the most uh, frequently asked question, maybe, why is self-defense important? Yes, self-defense is important, you know, to protect, as I say. Most of the time, a lot of guys think, oh, why should I learn some type yeah. of martial arts? Actually, learning self-defense is not to go to fight someone. It's always to protect yourself. If you're in a situation, how you can defend yourself? You never know what time a situation can arise. Let's throw an example. Yeah. Can we throw an example? What about you, Shehara? How, how uh, g give a classic example where you could fight for yourself if someone yeah. comes to attack you. 
What kind of situation yeah. do you think is more? I mean, would would occur? Okay, basically, if it's for a girl, I think it would be like after office, mm -hmm. going home alone, late at night. Be, yeah, exactly, yeah, right. Okay. So, guys, clicks will be there waiting for her or whatever, right? So, I think this martial uh, is the best for women, basically because girls don't actually put. I mean, in a sense, like they don't learn this because they're scared or something yeah. like that. But I think women really should go out there and learn this. It's not mm -hmm. that hard. It's not about power. It's just about mind and how you do it. And yeah, we we were fine. talking actually uh, prior to the show about yeah. the fitness level yes, and exactly. the stamina. No, it has nothing to do nothing with, to do. Nothing to do with the power. What, what do you want to have uh, if you want to get into this field where you want to, you know, focus on becoming a professional Krav Maga instructor yeah. or a student? What advice would you like to give them and what takes you to go there? Well, actually just do the technique properly, you know, mm. it's just a day-to-day -day life thing, right? Mm. So, especially for a woman, mm. I think you should, you should learn. And stuff. I think when you... When you become, when it becomes a habit, you know, when when uh, defending yourself becomes just like a habit. I think it, it's gonna be very easy for the for anybody, not just a girl, to yeah. put it into use. Because like you, um, like we were speaking before, it's not about fit, uh, just fitness level or your flexibility. If you have the focus and if you're actually willing to do something, exactly. and if you have good concentration, maybe through things that is around you, yes, like who's following you and what's yeah, that's around right. You. That's what we train them. We train them on, you know, how to be mentally. How to be alert when things arise. The main thing in self-defense is not to be surprised by an attacker. Most of the time, you see someone is always surprised and they just lose it and they don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So what we train is to be mentally alert, to be ready for something. So you're walking alone. If you notice some guy following you, always you have to be alert and yeah, ready. Cautious. Okay, yeah. cautious about what's going to take place. Exactly. So this is an all-round training. So you train um, your students mentally, physically, physically and, and even you know spiritually, maybe a little bit the little little focused and alert. I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Exactly. How, how does this uh, Krav Maga technique differentiate from the other forms of self-defense techniques? Yes. For example, yeah. karate. All right. Krav Maga is mostly a simple system. See, whereas other martial arts, it's a lot of time taken, a lot of, you know, stretching and all that. And the other thing is, like, a lot of people don't have time to go through all that type of a training. In so the real world. In the real yeah. world. True. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So, what we teach is, in minimum time, how you can learn the maximum defense. So, to learn a maximum defense, how long going to take under normal circumstances? Under normal circumstances, okay, we'll say you study for about a year under an instructor. Okay. You learn the main things that, okay, you think this is sufficient for me to defend myself. It's not, but I, unless, of course, you want to become an instructor, mm. then you continue your training. Mm. Yeah, um, the next question that I want to ask you, it's, it's kind of silly actually, but then... Uh, <laughs> it's then fine, Anupama, be yourself. Thanks, God. <laughs> Thank you very much for insulting me in front of our guests. <laughs> no, no, I was joking. But still, uh, this is actually kind of silly. Thing is, uh, now we see movies. You know, in every movie that we see, we actually see that, um, especially when a girl is attacked, uh, the first thing that they do <laughs> is get grab something from the side of the road or whatever that they can find, hit it on the person who's trying to attack you, and then run away. But I'm sure that doesn't work in real life to that extent. Exactly. See, you know, sometimes you're walking on the road, you try to grab something, you don't have anything around you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh yeah, and by the time okay. you try to grab something, grab something, something they can already attack happens. you. So yeah, tell, tell us about, I mean, is that enough or no. what, what are the simple things that we should be alert on in, in that case? The simple thing you should be alert is, okay, expecting, okay, this scene, what he's going to do to you first. Okay, we'll say a guy grabs you. Okay, at that point, how you should be relaxed and what you should do. It comes to a point, okay, he grabs you, but at some point he has to release you again. Mm. He can't grab you mm. and hold on for long, yes. okay? <laughs> at some point he has to <laughs> let you go. At that point, you use yeah. your concentration, concentration mm. and it, that is why we train them in that. Okay. See, if it's a person who doesn't know, we'll just freak out and Yeah. And this, 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 uh, this, this is uh, adaptable for men and women, both, right? Both. both. Okay. And that's why she's here. <laughs> uh, but uh, um, does le uh, learning self-defense mean that one has to uh, follow and learn a martial art? No, actually martial arts come, it's a uh, title given to all type of uh, thing. Karate also is called a martial art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you do uh, wushu, it's a martial art. Okay. Right, no, so but I think what Banu is trying to ask is that yeah. does uh, Krav Maga okay. fall under the category of martial arts? It's a self-defense system. Okay. It doesn't so you go can't call exactly not martial. a martial. Okay. It's a self-defense. So what's the difference between these two? 
The difference is because see in the martial arts you always have competition. Okay. All ah, right. 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 It's right, a right. competitive thing. Mm -mm. You're given a medal, but in this it's not a competition. Mm. It's all about self-defense. Mm. Just protecting yourself. That's yeah. So I think we're going to learn more about it. Yes. In the next few minutes on yes. the show as well. We're going to have a lot of demonstrations as well. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm right. very excited about it. Do yeah. join us on our Facebook page as well, guys, because we'll be uploading this uh, in case if you miss it today. Uh, it's www.facebook.com slash good morning Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. We'll be taking our first break and we'll be back for more action.